All right, um, I just wanted to do uh, a follow-up vid. I, um, I got the projectors done. These are Morimoto's, um, they're Mini H1s. Uh, already hooked up the harness, um, made my own um, special harness for uh, the high beams. I just I soldered a bunch of stuff and hooked it up to them. Um, the actual H7 uh, connector for the high beams. So I have uh, by Xenon um, functionality. They both light up um, and it's just a night and day difference. Uh, also updated to uh, the um, smoked blinkers on the side. I used, I had the stock ones which um, you know came out to the sides and were kind of bulky. Uh, special uh, shout out to Snowcat. Um, he was the one that actually convinced me to, uh, you know, just go through with the retrofit. I had them laying around. I just didn't use them. And, um, you know, it was starting to become kind of a waste. So, uh, I just decided, what the hell, you know, just went through with the project. And uh, I really don't regret it. They came out great. Um, I get a lot of compliments on them. Um, and also, uh, special shout out to my other... Uh, 636 buddies, the AK-47s, and uh, also uh, Baker X Derek out in California. Um, these will also work on uh, previous gen 636s because they, um, you know, it's just, I'm not sure how you mount them. I'm pretty sure it has the same H7 setup, um, or H3 or H11, but just to give you an idea. And uh, they're perfectly level, and um, I don't get flashed by people. And uh, the other thing was um, when you do the high beams, you can literally see the tops of trees. It's, it's kind of crazy and um, really, really good investment. Uh, if you're going to do a retrofit, I highly recommend... Um, going to uh, it's the retrofit source um, they can do uh, they can pretty much guide you to do whatever um, if you're gonna do the retrofit source I would talk to Andrew he's the one that know he knows exactly what he's talking about and um, can put you in the right direction so all right I gotta get going and hope you enjoyed it and uh, more videos to come